Hey there, YouTube. I feel like crap, but I'm still gonna film anyway because I haven't filmed in a while. And by a while, I mean a few days. But I'm getting sick. So, that is my reasoning for if I'm not present on YouTube for a while. Tea of the day is an energy tea because my friend suggested it because I'm sick. But today is a book haul for January. I got a lot of books and I figured why not do a haul because I can in America, I guess. I don't know. But the first book is 13 Reasons Why. I got this book because my friend kind of threatened to kill me if I didn't read it. Thanks, bud. Really. Thanks. Um, I was actually considering picking it up for a while. It's about a girl named Hannah, and she is now dead, but she left tapes for everyone to listen to now that she's dead, explaining why she's dead now, basically, and everyone who had a part in why she died. So I thought it'd be interesting, and since they're making, I think, a show out of it now, um, I think Selena Gomez is working on it or producing it. Or Something I saw it on Facebook. I don't know. But I thought it'd be interesting to finally pick this up. And my English teacher was like, hey, you should read this. So I said, sure. So I bought a copy of it. And it's very nice. It's very crazy. So I'll give this a read. Next book is Mrs. Puff. If you're an Edgar and Poe freak like me, you will understand the need to get this book. But it's about a woman, and her name is Frances. She kind of falls in love with Mr. Poe when The Raven comes out, if you know anything at all about the history of it. That is one of the most famous pieces, and she ends up meeting him and being kind of by him and Mr. Poe's wife uh, tries to befriend Francis and there's a worry of her finding out stuff and at this point I believe she is sick so I thought this would be fun to read I got it from Target and it just seemed interesting. The sun is also a star. I'm not much one for contemporary reads, but I heard a lot of good things about this. It's about a girl who's about to be deported and a boy who is a good son, good student, and all that fun stuff. And the universe kind of pushes them together from what I gather. And I thought it might be a fun thing to try to read and get me into contemporary romances because I've never been into them. I'm more of a fantasy girl. So this just seemed like a good intro to contemporary. The next book is The Outsider. I've been debating getting this for a really long time because I would see it at Target, not endorsing them, by the way, I just get a lot of books from Target because that's where I go and I get a lot of gift cards there and I spend all my money on books because that's what I do. Um, I just saw it and I thought it reminded me of when I read um, Monster in middle school. If you read that, you know, it's kind of controversial, and you kind of have to read it in school, but it's fun anyway. And it seemed like a short read, and 15 years old, so I thought, why not give it a try? And the guy on the cover is really cute, so that just kind of added to it. I don't know much about this book at all from summaries or anything, but it's
it seemed fun. And it's something that I'm going to read probably really fast because it's kind of short. So, don't know much about this one at all. I just kind of bought it on impulse. And I might do a review for it since it's 15 years old now. It might be fun. Next book I got, Scarlet. Because I read Cinder and I fell in love with it. And I just, I really needed this so bad. And because I need to know what happens. I'm not good with cliffhangers at all. And I just, and I love Little Red Riding Hood. I wrote three adaptions of it with my own little spin, and I love it. And I made this little bookmark for it out of spare ribbon from a costume that I made. And I think it's cute. And I fully intend on getting everything written by Marissa Meyer because she's life. She's literally life. And I know I'm getting in this game kind of late, but it's just, it's so good. Um, this is the sequel to Cinder, in case you haven't picked up on that, from the Lunar Chronicles. Um, actually Cinder came out when I was in sixth grade, so you might be able to figure out my age from just knowing that little tidbit of information. But, um, this one is about a girl named Scarlet, and obviously, because title, and it's just, I needed to know. I'm not going to really kind of say anything about this more, unless I do a review on Scarlet, which I might in the future. It just, it all depends on right now how this week plays out. So, I won't say much about this, but go read Cinder, please. So, when I finish reading this, and you finish reading this, it'll be fun, and we can talk about it, because that's just what I do. And the next book is Stalking Jack the Ripper. I've been waiting to get this book since the summer. My friend would drive me there to Barnes & Noble, and he would take me after work, and I just, I saw this, and I restrained myself, because there were so many other books I wanted to get. I'm sorry if I'm rocking and kind of making you motion sick, but that's what I do in a recliner. But I love Jack the Ripper. Not literally, but just the story behind it, because it's always interested me. And when I saw this, I, I kind of died a little inside until I got it, and now I'm happy. But it's about a girl who is like kind of up there in society, and like she was raised to be a perfect Victorian lady. Um, but when she loses her mother, she wants to understand death and somehow comes across Jack the Ripper in a way. And I saw James Patterson on the front. My mom is literally obsessed with him. So I, like, it's not written by him, but he had a part and making this happen. So that kind of uh, made me happy and made me intrigued. And I might have to give this to my mom to read after me. But yeah, and just pretty, very pretty. I think my friends are getting tired of me bringing this book up and when I read it. But I feel like it's going to be really, really good. I kind of feel like it's going to be a little bit mystery. And I'm not much one for mystery, as I've said before in my Venom video. But I feel like this is going to be really good. And the final book is a book that I've been reading. I got the beginning of the month in January, and I'm almost done with it because school has been distracting me. I probably would have finished it within a week if school didn't suck, to be honest. And it's Rosewood. It's so good. I'm a fan of the opera Freak. My phone background and lock screen is fan of the opera related. It's just Phantom. He's great and I love it and I wanted this book so bad and I got it the day it came out and it made me happy and I'm almost done with it and it's about a girl named Maroon and she shows up at this school called Roseblood 
Um, and it was, it's an opera house. It's an opera school. She has this strange kind of power, I, I guess. Um, but anytime she hears opera, she automatically knows the opera by heart and she has to perform it. Um, but she goes to Rosebud to kind of harness that power, um, not intentionally. Um, her mother makes her go. She doesn't really want to, but she does kind of make her mother happy. And she ends up meeting this boy named Thorn. I'm not going to say anything more about him because I'm probably going to review this within the next week. Hopefully, I only have like 30 more pages because I've been trying to restrain myself and actually do my schoolwork, which is rare. But he's he's made it to the official book boyfriend list, and he's just so great. And he helps her, but he was raised by the actual Phantom himself um, from when he was seven years old. And he has become the Phantom's son, so to speak. And they have a special plan for Rune and her voice. And she has to pick between, like, and he, he, yeah, he, not she, he needs to pick between her and doing what his father wants him to. And it's a hard choice. But it's just, it's so good. So good. And I will be doing an in-depth review, hopefully within the week. That is all for my book haul. This is my first time doing a book haul, and I'm sorry if it was under par with a lot of other book hauls. I'm still finding my way around doing videos in general. But I really enjoy doing this, and I hope to continue doing this. So until next time, see you in the next chapter.